everyone, welcome to Loving Life. Life. My name is Victoria. This is my wife, Regina. <laughs> I know, I know. She's poor thing. <laughs> she can move her neck now. Barely, barely. I have this muscle that oh I can my. barely move my head. I'm sorry, honey. Not just See, for a couple of hours. Like I know. Uh, suddenly, I realized, like, uh, oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> So this is so me. yeah. Please subscribe to this channel. Hit this bell button. Thank you so very much. And <gasps> today we're having uh, fusilli bolognese, or very similar. It's not exactly bolognese, classically speaking, but very similar dish. Now I need to mix it first, honey, a little bit. Otherwise, it somehow it was waiting a little bit for you guys. And for me. <laughs> To get and out of the bed. Her own I, girl. Elaine bed and I couldn't get up because it's an upper one, so every movement I make, it's oh, like, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. It's crazy, crazy how sometimes it just happens. Like it just happens. I know, I know, it just happens sometimes. And she barely moves. But I managed. <laughs> she did. Oh. She did. I was calling her and I have to help, had to help her to come here and. Uh, oh. Okay, I can do that. Not more. No, she can do it. Before she couldn't. Mm hmm. Mm. It's very nice. It's tasty. Thank you, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's lovely. And that would go well with this. Capers. Mm -hmm. Yes? Please, just a sec. I went near the pantry today and I'm like, oh, they're capers. Oh, maybe we should eat them with something someday. Something and there something. we go. And I'm like, yeah, that's perfect because you know what? I always like some pickleness, and I think uh, capers will do the job for the pickleness. Coming, coming. <laughs> She's coming. Yes, coming. <laughs> oh, look, look, I can move. <laughs> okay, now I need to return it. It's quite sad that you can move just that. Yeah, those capers, they are in salt water. Yay, my little capers. Those ones. From Costco. Yeah. I think capers will be a wonderful addition. It was good on my part. Bring them on. Thank you. And I think I'm going to put it on top. They're so cute. Yeah, no, it's not... Not everyone loves capers, but we do. Actually, capers are floor, uh, flowers, flower buds of different, um, different um, flowers? plants. Yes. Plants. They're so cool. They have definitely very distinct, um, very strong flavor. Flowery. If you think about it, it's flowery. But it's strong. It's, it's strong. It's even intense. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely calling it intense, but I totally love it. I love the intense, strong flavors. Hmm. One secret. If you want to thicken your sauce or to put in meatballs instead of bread and breadcrumbs and uh, flour or starch, you can add um, flax meal. Which I do a lot. Mm. And you know why I don't put capers on top of mine? We don't them, want them warm. Precisely. I don't want them warm. I like my capers cold. -ish. Even though I love the warm ish flavor to them here. Mm. This is really good. Mm -hmm. So lots of people don't like capers? Mm hmm. Well, you know, some people don't like pickles. Mm. But pickle is more common thing to mm -hmm. eat, is it? Mm-hmm. Brown and capers? 
Mm-hmm. But lots of people don't like pickles. I know. And there's a bunch of people that doesn't like olives. Olives, you know what? I, I fa found out that if you didn't grow up with olives, a lot of people don't like them. If did, they tried them. Did if we they tried them. Did we grow up with olives? Not in we, we, not were, we were 10 when yeah. we moved to Israel. Sure. So. But not before that. No. Mind you, no. Ariel, no. take no. Ariel. He didn't like olives for many, many years. And let's say a couple of years ago, we started to like them with the, um, with the garlic inside, those green ones, garlic. stuffed with garlic clove. And he started liking those. Or almonds. I don't think he likes almonds. No, no, I like no. almonds. Mm. Not in the recent um, couple of years. Although he definitely grew up with olives, but he ate olives. And he tried them many, many, many times. And he tried times. them many, many times. Well, on the other hand, a couple of years ago he was about eight, yeah. which was like pretty small for him. Yeah, sure. Something I guess you... Unless you're in Italy and the olives are in your face all the time. <laughs> I don't know, Greece as well. Mm -hmm. Kalmata olives. Oh yeah, I love Kalmatas. Mm -hmm. Actually, we're going to be in Kalamata. Where are we going to be in Kalamata area? I think so. In the area. I love Kalmatas. And I think I love uh, green olives way more. The big ones. Mm -hmm. Or the small one. Small Lebanese ones? Lebanese cracked, well, cracked ones. I like the small cracked ones or I like the big green juicy ones. Mm. Mind you, I like... I like a lot of olives. I like the smoked olives. The only one I don't like is the, the pre-cut black ones. Black ones from the can. But they're colored, right? They are. And they taste very fake. They have no olive, um, real olive flavor to them. <laughs> I know how you call them usually. I'm not going to. We'll, s we'll, we'll censor that part. Yeah. She's funny, she's called them funny. Oh. But yeah. Okay. Take from here. There's more meat. So I have tons of meat. I ended up with tons of meat, so I'm adding some um, pasta. Pasta. Fusilli. 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 Mm. Actually, this is fully gluten free. Not because we care too much, but we just love, love this pasta. Love this corn pasta. Yeah, we had it for years. Actually, in the past, I've been gluten free for a couple of years. Yeah, but since we're back, there no, we're good. Mm -hmm. Because not because of us, because Ariel. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyway, he's good. We're good. This pasta was on top of our favorite pastas. Mm -hmm. We consume lots of pasta. Lots of corn pasta. Some lots rice or a lot of corn. We consumed a lot of uh, rice too. Actually, I love, I love rice. Slow motion. Oh, my honey. Oh, oh no, I think I'm... You funny? Mm. When I'm sitting here, it's okay. The funny part, I can't join in bed. <laughs> I can't get out of the bed. Lie down. <laughs> yeah. I just right here. So every motion I make, it's, you know, it's just that area that helps me get you out of the bed. <laughs> it's funny. Oh no. It sucks when it happens. It happens to me so rarely, the last time, probably a couple of years ago, years for ago. sure. 
Like, holy smokes. This happens to me more. But not to that bad extent. No. It's funny, there's no headache, there is nothing, there's just this thing I can't move. Poor girl. Oh well. Tell me, are the capers bigger size? Yes. Than those? Because I'm sure know. I've seen them on one of the, um, on some food shows. They and they're like, huge probably ones. like at least four times, if not bigger the size. That's why I'm, I'm a, I don't remember the name of them. Actually, it's bush. Bushes, like, there are different bushes that they, that the capers um, take. Because yeah, it's from different, different, different plants. Right? Yeah. Actually, I never. I think they never tried the the big capers. You know what? I've never seen them. Have you ever seen? You them? know what I did see them in superstore in um, International Alley. Oh, interesting! Will be to it's try. like small, small-ish mm -hmm. um, jar, like mm -hmm. a little bit like you know, like small and fat. Oh, and I saw it's couple. Of big ones. The big ones. Hey, because we always buy those at Costco. Because they're cheaper. Oh, is that what it is? Like, from Costco, I buy, like, they're four of them. I think it's a pack of four, right? It comes it's a pack of four, and I don't remember how much does it cost, but relatively to, to other places that I saw them, like... Um, is it, like, delicacy? It's considered to be. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Probably. <laughs> For us, it's quite everyday. It's like a lobster. Yeah. People wants us to do, you know, uh, boil. Red boil. It's like a seafood boil with corn and uh, potatoes and lots of seafoods. Corn and potatoes inside? Yeah. You never oh. heard about it? It turns some bell. We never eat that this way. No, we usually eat it a different way. But it's cost too much. Oh my, the seafood is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And if God, God forbid, you want local one. Oh my, good luck. Yeah, the prices in our area are insane for food, insane. I don't think it's just in our area. Oh, but we're so bad. Definitely mm. worse than the States. Mm. For food, yes. For rent, for housing. E even even if uh, we're going to United States with our bad, bad dollar, still some things is way worse to buy there. It's funny, last year we went to... Um, to... Um, night market in Richmond. I was talking for like with a family. We were sitting next to them. Uh -huh. They were actually from Tri Cities, um, United States. Oh, funny. Yeah. So, I asked her why, why, why did you came here, and she said the prices. Every time the dollar. Is good on the other side. They come shopping here. Every time our dollar is uh, good, we're going to shop there. So yeah. I like what you created. Very nice. And it smells tomatoey. And I didn't overcook the pasta. Yay! Yeah, it's one of my... Isn't the worst thing in the world when someone overcooks the pasta? Mm, I can find something worse than that, but yeah. Well, it's not nice. Yeah, but... If it becomes so mushy... Oh, I, I can't stand mushy. I don't like mushy. I know you can. Mm. No mushy. Now you have... For your work tomorrow. 
Leftovers Rock. They totally are. And I love leftovers. Leftovers are phenomenal. Makes like, life so much easier. We went woofing this uh, summer. Uh, woofing it's like uh, working on the farm, organic blah blah something farm. And the lady, like the, the owner of the farm, was doing like you know evening dinner. Always became next day lunch. So she was putting everything that we didn't eat, whatever it will be, like vegetables, meat, and etc. Pasta inside the soup and uh, cooked it like slow cooker or something. It was really bizarre. It was good. It was good, but it was really, really strange. Whatever is left really ends up pasta. in the soup. Everything. It was really strange. Really strange. Something we wouldn't do because we just eat our leftovers just the way they are. Why yeah. to cook? Why again. to cook them and you know? I always like and never. But she was like she she, she had like a pasta leftover. It was a system. Everything not eaten in the dinner goes to next day soup. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Pretty weird. And and she let pasta you know blended the pasta. I, I saw her blending the pasta and putting inside the soup. So it was like I know we were yeah. puzzled because to us there you go, like a, it's I guess another creative way to eat your food sort of. But again, if you have this one, why just not to gently reheat, reheat it and it. just eat it? Why to bother and to overwork? There is no problem to eat the same thing twice. In our world. We always do it. We always did it. So it's not a problem. Or she always taking it as it is for uh, her lunch. Exactly. Day after or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's like... I don't know. We always did that. Oh, yeah. You know, before we did mugmans, we sometimes had... Uh, you would three. cook for three days and we would definitely eat the mostly. same. Mostly for we eat the same thing for three days. And it was great. Sometimes it's a big secret. Sometimes you will see us to eat. We're eating the same food with different, you know, side dishes, because things like soups or stews, I'm not going to cook for one meal. No. Especially if I'm uh, if it's sitting inside a you know, slow cooker for all day. Why would I yeah, do yeah. something different day after? You need to be realistic with your, you know, food expectations. So I'm trying not to upload like day after day the same food, but yet like I don't know. It That's happens. It happens. We try to versatile it, but you know it's real life and things that takes a lot of time and effort from me, like like some soups. I'm not like some soups. I'm not going to like borscht when I need to cut a lot of vegetables, and I'm not going to cut you know for what small or uh, stuffed stuffed vegetables that I'm going to stuff a lot of vegetables and and cook them or. I'm sure you could cook small portions, but then you'll be living in the kitchen and we'll have no other life. So it's kind of sucks. Definitely want to have, you know, keep your life simplified. In my in my mom's house, until these days, they cook three times a week. They cook uh, something in the weekend, you know, the something in the weekend for three days and one time in the middle of the week and one time on Friday and or something like so, and another time somewhere they squeeze but that's how they live basically and they eat the same food over and over again which we don't care really no anyway so, yeah. that was delicious anyway, thank you delicious thank, thank you, you so for very joining much. us and don't forget to subscribe write us a comment thumbs up okay. and share slimy life. life and remember go towards your joy and do something fun every day and we'll see you tomorrow bye check our online shop we have go towards your joy t-shirts tank tops cups stickers and unicorns thank you love you